Welcome to Through It Thoughts. So I just watched Shadow and Bone, the Netflix series. Loved it. Great plot, great costumes. Amazing. As an adaptation, I've not read the book, but it feels like a good adaptation of the book. There was just so much details. They don't tell you, but there, you know there's got to be like more about behind them. Like the various color outfits that the various Krishna wear. Basic plot, vaguely 1880-ish type timeline in a vaguely Eastern European-ish type country. It's a fantasy world. That's the feel. It's steampunk. There's guns and magic. The Grishna are the wizards. When I look at stories, I look looking at the idea of show don't tell and agency. And agency is the character's ability to drive the plot forward as opposed to the plot driving the character forward. This show I feel does a really good job of it. Now there's four main plots that you're following. It's an ensemble cast. The first one I'll talk about are the crows and they are the best part of the show. Everything they do is a heist. All the scenes they're in are all heists. It's just, it's amazing. The very beginning they get this mission, but they're not actually given the mission they have to do a heist just to get the opportunity to get the mission and then they have to do like another heist just to like then get the mission then to cross this thing called the fold which is this magical barrier that's across this country they got to do like this kind of like heist thing to get across it then they have to get to this palace but to get to the palace they've got to like con some people and do a heist to get to the palace and then in the palace they have to like break into this map room to find out the dimensions of it's just amazing all the various things there's like everything is just a heist it's beautiful uh, so they all have agency they're all always thinking of their feet they're always doing what they need to do to move the prop forward and they're also the epitome of the show don't tell you don't hear that jasper is a gunslinger you don't hear that he's a sharpshooter you actually see him doing trick shots no one ever says mentions talks about his guns you don't hear that they're clever but you see them thinking on their feet they make a plan and when it falls apart they're able to improvise make a new plan well done so you have someone named nina she's that's probably the weakest plot because she's someone who's kidnapped and you're following her and her kidnapper even then she has agency because she's trying to escape and and, and use the situation to her advantage. That's the weakest one. You have Mal, I believe is his name, and he's constantly trying to hook up with his friend from childhood, reconnect with her. And so everything he's doing is, all his plot points are just focused on his ability to try to get to her. Total agency. The only part that doesn't have agency is the main character, Elena Starkov, and she's the only one who kind of lacks agency, but even then she's constantly struggling to reclaim her own agency. She's kidnapped a lot, and then she gets herself out. People do the suggestion ways of like how she can rescue herself and then she doesn't take their advice and she does her own thing anyway. She, she's totally aware of her lack of agency and is totally fighting a bit against it. So in this case, we're usually having a lack of agency is a weakness in a movie or a plot. It's a strength because of how aware she is and how much she fights for her own agency. It's a good series. I recommend it. I am picking the books. I might read them. I've got a whole wall of books I need to read. Maybe I should start reviewing some of them. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think of the TV series. I look forward to the second season. Thanks.